Stroudwater is an historic little spot along the outskirts of Portland. While thousands make it part of their daily travels, its roots date back to pre-revolutionary days. The Tate House, which sits just off Congress Street, is Portland's only colonial home open to the public. Captain George Tate was a Royal Navy captain before he migrated to this area to oversee the trade of trees for masts for the British Navy. And those trees would be anything that was over two feet in diameter, some up to th uh, three, four feet in diameter. Mm -hmm. Those trees would be obtained here in the, what was then, we were part of Massachusetts. Tate's wife and four sons also resettled with him and in 1751 began building what would become this house. It's a Georgian colonial house. It was the largest house in Portland at the time. Mm -hmm and it's situated right on the banks of the Stroudwater River and the uh, Four River. Mm -hmm. So he had a perfect view of what was called the mass landing on the Four River. George Tate's son, William, took over the home following his death and was soon forced to flee back to England after falling on financial hardships in post-revolutionary times. From 1803 to 1931, the house had absentee owners and electricity and plumbing were left out until a group known as the Colonial Dames of America purchased the home and restored it. The Colonial Dames um, put a lot of time, money and heart into restoring the house. The house was never painted um, on the exterior. They had to break down walls that had divided the two apartments mm -hmm. and recreate what would um, give our visitors the impression of being in a colonial home. A quick tour of the home shows a very unique look at life in the 18th and early 19th centuries. One of the home's eight fireplaces sat in the kitchen which was the colonial version of the rotisserie in those days. You would wind it up like you would a clock, mm -hmm. and then as the ball went down, it would unwind and it would turn the spit for the turkey. So the staircase is typical of a Georgian house. It is wrapped around the, one cent the central chimney, which is directly behind here. Everything in the house, the furniture, the accessories and so forth are all from the 18th century to the, the early 19th century. The Tate House and its neighboring gift shop will formally open for the season June 5th, where over the course of the year, it will host everything from colonial fashion shows, a quilt workshop, and lectures in gardening, all to give their visitors that authentic colonial feel. For anybody who loves history, a house that has as much as this house, and you can tell I love it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that. Oh. I love it.